CZ Bank Access Bank who are using this feature for promoting their products as well as for early discussions, general discussions, etc. So let me brief about, uh, let me get into the matter, what exactly you, how you will benefit from this. There are many three questions that may come to us once we are introducing a project. What exactly is the product? Why should we use it? And where can we use it? What, why, and where? Of course, that really will be an answer to the product as a well. whole. Let me start with uh, what exactly Mopi is into the OA videos. See, Mopi has been providing a range of mobile solutions to telecom operators. They focus on network solutions, mobile value added services, M governance. Innovation and fashion has been taken by differentiation mobile only solutions. So in 2006, December, this uh, Mopi started with, and FastWords was one of their first products. This is Mopi. So I will be uh, taking a session on these three things. One is messaging solution, second one is voice solution, and the third one is trade and concept, which is pretty new to the industry. So let us start with what exactly is a messaging solution. Passwords helps you to send messages. Remember, there are two kinds of messages, mainly one is called the promotional and the other one is called the transactional messages. Hope you are aware of the promotional messages. Promotional messages means the ones which are getting delivered on your mo mo mobile numbers with uh, something like a promotional content. Let me uh, explain in detail. Uh, promotional content means uh, something promoting a company. You will be uh, getting uh, such messages against. And the other one is for the transactional messages, which you usually get once you say, swipe your ATM card or debit card. You will be getting a message. See, the main difference between the promotional and the transactional one is promotional messages won't get delivered to DNT numbers. The do not uh, disturb register numbers won't be getting these promotional messages. And the other one, the transactional one, which you are using for companies, uh, say banks, etc., it will get delivered to DNT numbers and it will be having 24 7 delivery. So these two are the basic differences in promotional and the transactional messages. So let me tell you what exactly has happened over the years. Say, over the past five years, uh, Mopi started off with this promotional, uh, the first words for 2006, I guess. And after that, there were n number of companies who gained uh, reseller platforms from other aggregators in India. There are n number, say, two or three aggregators, main aggregators in India, of which Mopi is one. We do have direct tie with all the operators, say, uh, whoever is providing SMS, we do have a tie with BSNL. So we will be able to send messages to all the operators across the country. So there are such other companies who are there, and they are promoting more of a reseller panel. So what exactly a reseller does? Uh, uh, because you are old, old to the company, something current, uh, you are old next gen CEOs, I guess. So, what you, how you will be benefiting is you can start a reseller panel and you can have, uh, say, uh, this, is, uh, this is a secondary situation. One thing is you can use this name for your company products or something like that. The other thing you can do is you can either start a reseller business. Of course, all other company startups who have started since 2006 have been using this platform for earning income and additional income. I would suggest you to uh, take this as your uh, main idea. See, you will be having some other ideas to implement. Take this as an additional means to start up a uh, revenue. To get a revenue, you will be getting uh, something like uh, say, if you are having a good uh, relationship with uh, some of your clients out there in your place, you can have them uh, and get to know whether they are having the requirements for SMS. And if so, you can give them a uh, you will be probably be implementing that today. Platform will be showing up that platform. It's uh, something very, very much user friendly. You can easily ask your clients to start submitting messages through the same. It's something uh, very much user friendly. So anyone can do that. Uh, so let me start with what exactly passwords are providing. One thing is they are providing the reseller plans, and the other one is we, uh, we can provide managed campaigns, and we are providing the API integration. And Jinsen, who is the technical team, will be explaining in detail what exactly is the API integration and all. So I was already explaining what exactly is the promotional messages. See, customized central is not possible in a promotional message. There are mainly two. One is the promotional and the other one is called a transactional route, as I told you before. In promotional route, messages will be getting delivered with something like, for example, BD0641 connection. This is a unique code that we are getting from the BSNL gateway. So they will be giving us this uh, unique code uh, through which all the messages will be, get, will, will be getting delivered. We can't use any other central in case of promotional messages. And also, it won't get delivered to DLT numbers as well. And also, delivery will happen only between morning 9 a.m. to evening 9 p.m. After that, 24-7 delivery is not possible in case of promotional messages. 
And the other one is SMS memory is not permitted on DLT numbers. Of course, there was a time when SMS registry was, SMS was permitted to register to DLT numbers, but after that, there, uh, there were n number of complaints coming in. So, what they have happened to stop the registered permission to deliver DLT messages to DLT numbers. And the other one is called the transactional messages, which of course every one of you might be familiar with. Once you swipe your credit card or something, you will be getting a message with the central ID TD ICICIB. TD means Tata Delhi and ICICIB means the central ID. It should be purely six characters and should be alphabetical and should be in caps. The messages which you will see, what happens with the transactional content? Try is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India is strict with the regulations as of now. So you need to have uh, say a whitelisted uh, message. If you want to send a message through the transactional route, you need to first send it across yours. We need to get it whitelisted from the operator. Only then we will be able to send the messages. Other than that, other than the whitelisted messages, no other contents will pass through the transactional route because they are pretty. Uh, and also, no other messages. Any promotional content of promotional contents can't be sent through the transactional route. Only purely transactional messages can be sent through this transactional route. And also there is no time restriction for sending SMS. You can send messages 24-7. This is the basic difference between a promotional and a transactional message. So you have reserved a plan for both these. Whether you can sell messages, what exactly happens in the industry is there is no standard rate at which SMS is being sold today. There are companies who are selling at 1 paisa, there are companies who are selling at 10 paisa, there are companies who are selling at more than 50 paisa. It all depends on your marketing scheme. So if you are able to sell messages, if you, if you think you have a good marketing skill, you can go out and start sending messages. We do provide send percentage delivery. See, send percentage delivery in the case of transactional route and in the case of promotional route, you want get messages won't get delivered to DND numbers, you will be getting the recredits for the DND numbers. That is the main difference between promotional and transactional route. So this one is something new. Uh, something that you brought up on me. This is called three days. Are there, anyone has any uh, idea regarding this thing? What exactly is the three days? It's a simple thing. Uh, see, messaging, there are, uh, as I told you before, there are n number of resellers, n number of users in the industry. So we thought of uh, implementing something new uh, which can, uh, which could help to uh, target more of the clients and clients. See, we do have that toll free number facility for every other company, there will be a toll free number. What exactly happened with the toll free number? The client is not being charged for a call. So, uh, and there is some toll digit number which comes up as a, as a toll free number. So, apart from that, what if the client is not in a situation? What if the client is not in a situation to attend the call? Say, Josco Jewelers. If they want, uh, if the client wants to contact Josco Jewelers and they have advertised a toll free number, or say uh, some other companies, Jet Airways, they have advertised a toll free number. What if the client is not in a situation to attend the call? So you should be able to leave a message automatically. So that's the concept that is running behind three lives. All you need to do is just leave a miss call. The call will get disconnected automatically and you'll be getting a message alerting that our customer service executive will be uh, contacting you soon. With the transaction route, uh, you'll be getting that centrality also. Because the client is subscribing for what exactly? Subscribing for our update. See, I am a representative of Jet Airways. And if a client wants to know about a jet address, he just need to give to a miss code to his 10 digit number. Once he gives a miss code, he will be giving a, uh, he will be sending a response message. Jet address will be sending a response message stating that our customer service executive will be contacting you soon or something uh, promoting jet address. It can be up to the uh, choice of the client. So what happened is, it, is, it will get you, it will just uh, say if you want to post any zero post to the customer, right? You copy your aware of the shortcut facility. This is being used in idea starting etc etc. What happens with the short code is they will be provided with a five digit short code. If a client messages to a short code, he will be charged three rupees per message. So, but in the case of free dance, what happens is client just needs to leave a miss code. Once he leaves a miss code, he is not being charged. He and he gets to know what exactly he wants to know regarding the company or the client. So, even for this, we do have a reasonable platform. We do have a user friendly interface. And also you can send, send either a voice response or you can send a USSD which uh, Jensen will be explaining what exactly is a USSD. Hope you are aware of that. Uh, once you start 1, 2, 3 hash from your mobile, you will be getting a user session, right? If you want to know parents, see the same is possible with a Discord. And the other one is you can handle 30 Discord simultaneously and also you will be getting the campaign reports. This is what exactly free is. 
and also the other solution that we are providing somewhat similar to fast loads is voice solutions voice solutions is somewhat uh, similar to fast loads once you the other way you are submitting messages in this you are submitting voice calls in messages you can submit up to up to 1 lakh messages at a time that takes just 5 minutes to submit 1 lakh messages so if you want to do a campaign across kerala say 2 to 3 crore with numbers it's possible in a day you can deliver up to 3 crore numbers uh, deliver messages up to 3 crore numbers a day that's not an issue and the same is uh, possible with voice solutions too but the thing is must the voice calls won't deliver to dmt numbers the same with the promotional messaging fast numbers okay then i will explain who exactly uh, is using uh, maybe i can explain two sectors for you every other sector is using messaging solution as of now the banks are using for transactional purpose educational institutions there are companies which do uh, say once a child uh, gets into a bus his parents will be alerted that the child has uh, so and so has got into this bus through the transactional route because it's something between the parents and the school so they can be using the transactional route there are many schools inside kerala who are using this facility so if you have that marketing skill in you and if you think that you can market it well through your schools or something through your colleges you can implement the same feature in your college you can either develop a software for that when there are schools in kerala tomorrow who are using the swipe facility just to swipe the card and there will be a getting an alert message that the client has entered the bus and client has left the bus so the messaging there is a vast number of possibilities it all depends on how you utilize it either you can if you are just into the marketing side you can just market it as it is or else you can use innovative technologies there are companies like innos technologies of your other of them even they are using the on short code double fit to refer what they need to do is just give you a number just uh, type in your inquiry to double fit to refer you will be getting a response message see everything in uh, everything in the mobile there will be something related to messaging it all depends on what you are thinking if you have that idea in you you can uh, come up with something more a transactional message is also it's possible just the what is needed for a transactional message is that the client should be complaining that he has a subscribe for the update if it's something regarding a college or school what uh, what is possible is parents are actually subscribing for the update from the school so there is no issue you can use the transaction route with central id so you can either come up with softwares or you can either take up the reseller panel so i can i can explain two sectors mainly one is the education sector for which alert messages say something like feed due dates schedule changes information on wants to balance attendance reports something like this can be done through the messaging solution fast routes and the other one is the toll free number see as i said explained before a freedom number can be given for every institution in kerala so the old old that the client needs to do is just give a call to this number and get to know what's happening in that institution maybe the feed due dates or something like that and builders can be, uh, see there are n number of companies who are using this messaging solution as of now you might be aware every other uh, banks has this facility for swiping cards icic and axis bank are using it from fast loads so once you swipe your card you will be getting an alert stating that so much amount is withdrawn from your card that's the transactional route and if they are doing a campaign across kerala they can use the same facility to promote their campaign across kerala through the same bank and the technical side uh, jinsa bhai can you have a demo for that yeah you gave your numbers right yeah that's fair enough okay see i can give you a live free time demo if you are interested what you need to do is just leave a message to this number Zero four eight four four zero seven four six four five.
maybe DAT? No, DAT is not an issue with fast or fast apps because you are requesting an SMS. If you if you so register it, then you will get this SMS. Okay. Because you are requesting an information from other service. Instead of this computer, we have the right to
user interface, which is declared by visual development. We had an interface before. It's basically migrated to the new interface. So we might be seeing uh, interface features and CSS based updates. So I created an account for start application. And we'll be getting an, an account after this conversation. You can come back to it and ask for the account. You can get 100,000 credits or something. So,